if it's not, if they're not getting that foundation, that platform for you to do a, a higher level grooming, you gotta do it over again. I mean, if you, Lindsay, even though you're doing your own bathing, if it's not consistent and you bring a dog out and it's not fluffing out right for you, what do you do? You have to go back and do it again. Mm -hmm. Bingo. It takes and, more time. And, huh? and to me, that's accountability. So whether you're working with a team, didn't with students, if if it wasn't bathed properly, didn't you make we them made go them back? We made do it over again. Yeah, mm -hmm. you only make that mistake a they couple only did times. It. They only they only made that mistake once or twice. Right, that's the way I learned it. If I had to rewash that lab again, I wasn't going to do it like that the next time. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. And so I think accountability is is a really big thing, and and somebody has to be checking that work and holding people accountable. And I don't think you're doing anybody a favor by saying. Oh, it's good enough. Right. Right. And, you know, and it, that gets tough when you're in a busy salon and the dog doesn't come out right and that dog has to go back after it's been bathed and dried already once and the client's going to be there. But I, I truly think that's the only way that you can really truly teach your staff. And well, if you're going to settle for one thing, you're going to settle in other areas and right. you're just going to start to compromise on everything. Right. right. And you can't build a reputation by, oh, that's good enough. 